Hey, good morning, guys. It is March. Monday morning. 2022. So, I picked up this new job and been going through training and stuff like that and um, I actually have a temporary job at a call center right now and they end up giving us the day um, they end up you know giving us the day off so what better day is it to go fishing guys yeah so it looks like the temperature and the water it looks like it just like looks like everything is gonna be good, like the perfect weather conditions and everything. So, um, sitting there looking at the task schedule and stuff, and when I get there, it's actually gonna be high tide or tide coming in, and then I got an hour, hour and a half before it's high tide, and then it switches around. So what I'm I'm thinking that when I get out there, um, I'm gonna launch the kayak, and then I'm gonna go upstream north. I just ride the current, and because I'm I'm actually paddling the boat. Um, I don't have a, like a trolley motor or anything, so it's all all manhandling it, muscle work so <laughs> that being said I'll be able to get a little exercise you know what I'm saying um so anyways I'll end up putting in a little after 7 high tide ain't to like 11 11 is like dead high tide so it gives me most of the morning to fish the incoming tide which if the temperature of the water warms up then the fish will run back in to the creeks and the rivers so that's what i'm hoping for guys right now the temperature is around 65 but um the fish like it over the 70s going up in the rivers and the creeks stuff like that but the last time i was at goosby's oh, i'm sorry it wasn't goosby's it was uh it was over off Beach Boulevard. We put in there. Over there by um, a little kayak place. Right there on the river. And. It's kind of like brackish water. But it runs right off the St. John's. Like where we put in was. A few miles or so. Away from the St. John's. But. Me and my son was there fishing, trying it out. And I couldn't believe it, but there was a little shrimp running up in there. So, word on the street says, the shrimp are down in Green Cove right now. So I'm thinking maybe in the next couple weeks, maybe a month, uh, ja the Jacksonville area and the river up here will be a little bit more populated with shrimp and then we're going to go through migration season so things should be popping off everywhere alright guys stay tuned and we'll see you out there Alright, here I am guys, uh, it's still dark, the sun hasn't came up yet, it don't, we just, uh, had a time change, uh, we sh sprung forward, cause we're coming up on spring, but check it out man, it's, it's still dark out here, so, I believe the sun don't come up till about 7.30, go 7.30, sun, 7.30, the sun rises, sun fall, um, Sunrise, sunset, however you want to call it. But yeah, man, check it out. Uh, me and my boy clean up the garage. Booyah, booyah, booyah!
Get the chaos right there, yeah, boy. Oh, well, that's where we're heading, down river. I just got this kayak a little while ago. It's the uh, Maxim 100 Angler. Uh, got a few spots for fishing pole holders and um, something right here. I don't know quite what that is. Anyways, I gotta hurry up and try to get out of the road. But I want to show you guys my homemade dolly. I have a couple lawnmower wheels and a milk crate. It was a complete failure at first. I was using this tight bungee strap, and it just wasn't hold, wasn't holding it on there. It kept falling off. Now I'm using that ratchet strap right there to hold it on there, and. Uh, Let's see if it's going to work, guys. I'm staying level. Yeah. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's better than carrying it. I mean, it's not it's not like the Cadillac, but I mean, I'd say uh, maybe a Chevy model. All right, so the dolly made it made the kayak uh, down to the water. However, it wasn't a complete failure, but it does have room for improvement. Um, I just took the ratchet stra strap off of there. And so holding the wheels along because I wanted this to be multifunctional as far as this, um, this milk crate. And I'll show you something else in a little bit. How um, I had fishing pole holders on it that I can put on and take off as I need it. So, uh, so yeah, I had these zip ties right here holding the wheels on and it wasn't the best idea. So I have another idea and I'm gonna keep trying. Look at that guys, ain't that beautiful? It's a nice area. Well, I just got back with the kayak. Got everything loaded up. Got everything packed up in there. The dolly was a failure. It broke apart. So, I need a steel axle for the dolly. Uh, the wind was real bad uh, not at first when I got here the tide was coming in so I was heading down that direction heading north uh, kind of northwest and and I got down there I fished for a couple hours and then the tide turned around and I rode it back but the wind was real bad so I just decided to call it a day and that's a wrap